Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to what is the first Get Ready With Me I filmed in the longest time ever. I've had so much fun filming this video and showing you guys how I created this kind of big, bouncy 90s hairstyle and also how I do my everyday kind of more glamorous makeup look as today I'm actually going out to meet my friends. As always in true me style, I am late. So I'm gonna now take you back in time to me with wet hair in a towel, no makeup on, and show you how I do my full hair and makeup routine from start to finish. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, everything featured will be linked down below, and I will now pass you on to me from an hour ago. So this is me, a fresh out the shower. I may be lying. I have put a little bit of MAC face and body on, and I've curled my eyelashes just to make myself look presentable. But this is my fresh out of the shower hair, and it kind of looks like I've been electrocuted. <laughs> So the first product I use is this, and this is good old faithful Moroccan oil. I have been using this for absolutely years. I add about three pumps into my hand, rub my hands together, and then just run it through the ends of my hair. It just keeps my hair like really silky and shiny and just in a good condition. The next step is heat protector. This is my favorite, it's from Kerastase, and it's almost like a creamy mask. I actually use quite a lot of this because I put it nearly all over my hair except for my roots and I really focus on my fringe area and round the front because that's the part of my hair that sees the most heat. And then the last product is for hair growth and it looks like this. It's from a brand called Vegamore. I add three drops of this to my scalp and then just massage it in with my fingers. I've been on a bit of a hair growth journey and this product is unreal. Next step of course is to brush it out and I could not live without my tangle teaser. My hair gets so knotty and it always saves the day. So products are in, hair is all brushed. Next step is blow drying. Today I'm gonna to be using my Dyson Air app. To be honest, I have used this pretty much every single time I've washed my hair for the last two years. This is very well loved. I know they're pricey, but it is so, so good. So that is my hair, just a little bit damp. The mistake a lot of people make with the Dyson Air app is they dry their hair completely and then they try and curl it and then the curls don't last. I was one of those people. I did that so many times, but the key is to leave your hair a little bit damp and then the curls really hold. So the first barrel is on, now let's start curling. in the barrel and I'm going to do the other side. So this is how it looks once it's been blow dried. I mean big bouncy 90s curls are in but I look a bit like a poodle. So this next step in my hair styling routine is the most important part for me. So it's now time to brush out these curls and this is the ultimate styler brush from Tangle Teaser. This brush is designed to be used on dry hair, hence it is my go-to brush when brushing out my curls. You can use this on hair extensions, weaves, clipping extensions, wigs, straight hair, curly hair, and everything in between. It's also the perfect brush for creating cute updos, like putting your hair in a ponytail, but it is my favorite brush for brushing out these poodle curls and creating more of like a mermaid softer look, which is definitely more on trend. It's also super lightweight, so I really love it when I'm traveling. I pop it into my bag and it doesn't weigh a ton. And also the handle makes it really comfortable to use. This part right here is my favorite part of my whole hair routine. Brushing out the curls feels and looks so satisfying. So this is how the curls look once they're all brushed out. I don't know what this brush does, but somehow it gives your hair more volume, but also makes your hair super shiny. Like look how it glides through your hair. If you're into these kind of like 90s polished curls, or even if you just like creating updos, this brush is honestly unbelievable and you need to get your hands on it. Now it's time to move on to makeup and make me look a little bit more alive. First step is clipping my hair out of my face. By the way, do you guys do your hair first or your makeup? first whenever I get like ready with my friends we all do our hair and makeup a different way around so some people do their makeup before their hair do you see what I'm getting at which way do you do I've always done my hair first just because otherwise if you do your makeup first then you get all sweaty and your makeup looks horrible but some of my friends they do it the other way around and their makeup looks great like 
I just wondered what you do. Anyway, first step, I'm gonna use a little bit of this. This is the Max Fix Floss Throw. Oh my God, it's all just gone in my mouth. I just love to use this underneath my makeup. However, I have already got a little bit of makeup on, as I said in the beginning of this video. So the steps that I won't show you, but I've already done are, moisturizer, I have been using this. This is from Dr. Jart. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I actually saw this on TikTok. Everyone was raving about it, so I purchased it. I like it, but like I don't love it. I didn't really get the hype. Next is sun cream. You should all be using your sun cream every day, even if the sun isn't out. I use this one. Well, I switch between a few. This is Eucerin and this is Factor 50. Next is one of my holy grail products. I've been using this for absolutely years. This is the MAC Face and Body in shade C3. This is actually really nice on its own. I have it on now and I could go out like this. But as I'm getting ready to go out, out, I will be putting on extra foundation just for that extra coverage. Today, I mixed it with this. This is the By Terry CC Serum. And they just create a really natural base like you're looking at now. So now we're up to speed. I'm just going in with a little bit of concealer onto some of the areas where I have a few blemishes. This is the NARS concealer and it's in the shade Custard. This concealer, guys, is brilliant. I actually bought it a few months back when I had bruises on my face from having Botox. And it actually covered the bruises so well. So if you have a spot, this concealer will save the day. For foundation, I can't decide what to use today. This is my holy grail foundation. This is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. But recently I've been using this for like every day. And this is the Hermes. It's almost like a tinted moisturiser. But a little bit more fuller coverage than a tinted moisturiser. I feel like today I should just stick to what I know and go with the Luminous Silk. I used to use so much like more makeup than I do now. But I've actually realised that only a couple of pumps of foundation go a long way. And you just don't need to be over caking your face unnecessarily. Because if you blend the product out it actually goes much further than you think. We'll ignore the foundation lips. Were any of you in the era at school where you used to go to school with foundation on your lips like this? Like this was the done thing. Your makeup looked good if you have foundation on your lips. Like, wow. Next step is contour. This is one of the contour sticks from Fenty. This is in the shade Mocha and I'm using this brush from Sigma, which is slightly angled just to apply it to my cheekbones. I used to always put my contour, like a big stripe up my face and it looks really kind of unnatural and it's really hard to blend out and it also makes all of your foundation underneath it ended up looking really cakey where if you apply it first to a brush and by the way i'm no mua but you know this is just things that help me if you apply it first to the brush it's just so much easier to blend next step is like concealer highlight i love this product it's from rodeal this is their benign low lighter you only need such a small amount and it doesn't make you cakey at all i just pop it underneath my eyes a little bit on my forehead and then I just pop it underneath my cheekbones as well, just like that, a little bit on my chin, and then just blend it in. Next product is another Holy Grail product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm saying that like that because it's actually so hard to say the way it, it's about to run out, but we just ignore that. So I actually apply this to most of my face, to be honest. I apply it Underneath my cheekbones, I apply it to my smile lines and then underneath my eyes as well. Just so I don't get really oily. I can tend to get really greasy as the day goes on. But this just sets your makeup in place, stops it from sliding off. And it does what it says it's going to do. It just makes you look airbrushed. Back in now with a tiny bit of bronzer. This is from Hourglass and it's called Bronze Radiant Light. It's actually really nice. It's a very kind of natural bronzer. Not too heavy. I just pop it onto my forehead and a little bit on my cheekbones up again to my temples but more dabbing it rather than dragging it then i'm going in with this eyebrow pencil so this is from anastasia beverly hills it's their brow wiz in the shade soft brown best eyebrow pencil ever i just use this just to fill in any kind of sparse areas that i might have on my eyebrows and i've also got quite short eyebrows so i like to drag it down just a little bit just to make my eyebrows a little bit longer than they are once they are done i'm just going to add a little bit of brow gel this is also from anastasia beverly hills and it is also in the shade soft brown for highlight this is another holy grail fave product from me this is from mac and this is soft and gentle i love this highlight it gives you highlight without being too much like 
Can you see that? I'm gonna do a really natural wing. Truth is, I'm not actually that great at wings, but I've built up my confidence over the last year. I use an eyeshadow. This is actually from MAC, as you can see. It's nearly run out. This is in the shade Charcoal Brown. I used to use this for my eyebrows years ago, but it's a bit heavy on my brows, but the perfect colour for a wing. Then for my lips, if you've watched my makeup tutorials before, you know what lip liner this is. This is MAC Boldly Bare, and it's the best nude ever. Over the top, we have a little bit of a MAC Kinda Sexy, which goes perfectly with the Boldly Bare. And guys, I have some really sad news. My Hourglass lipstick lip gloss thing, which I've been banging on about for months, has run out. I was literally digging it out of here yesterday to kind of get to the last out. I'm going to do it now on my nail. It's just the best ever. This is in the shade Mist, but putting it on with your fingers is really not ideal, but it will do. Then for my eyelash trick, which I'm sure many of you already know, you need a metal eyelash curler and your hairdryer, and you need to heat it up with your hairdryer. This is essentially like curling your eyelashes with a hot iron, but honestly, guys, my eyelashes are so naturally straight. I mean, ignore how they look right now, because I did actually curl them a little bit earlier before I did my hair. This just gives them a little bit more of a lift without ruining them using LVL chemicals and all the rest of it. Next up, mascara. This is my favourite mascara ever. This is from Hourglass, and I don't know what it is with this mascara, but it just makes your eyelashes so much longer and there's no transfer, it doesn't give you panda eyes, and it's just such a nice mascara to apply. Then to get off any excess mascara, which I've just decided to print all over my eyelids, just use a spoolie and rub it off. I actually learnt this trick on TikTok, I feel like we learn everything on TikTok, but it works a treat. I always used to use a wet cotton wool bud, it would take off all my makeup. This doesn't take off any makeup, but it just gets rid of any marks that are already there. Before I finish, a little bit more of the MAC's Fix Plus Setting Spray. And there we have it. This is like a mix between my everyday and more glam makeup look. It's not too thick and heavy, but it's nice and glowy and lots of coverage and it lasts all night long. Guys, I feel like I want to cut my fringe. Should I do it? I mean, I've done it a number of times before, but my fringe has got so long, like it's down to my jaw. And I feel like if I cut off this much, it would just make it bouncier. Okay guys, I'm gonna do it. Do not try this at home. I'm using a pair of kitchen scissors. Please people don't judge me, but I have done it before and it didn't end up terrible. So I'm just gonna cut the ends off like this. Oh my God, this looks like a lot of hair. Mm, maybe a tiny bit more. Hairdressers out there probably screaming at the TV or whatever you're watching this YouTube video on. By the way, guys, really random, but I always watch YouTube videos when I'm doing my makeup. It's such a great time to watch a YouTube video because it's one of the only times in kind of my life where I'm sat still for a length of time. It, like for 20 minutes, I'll just prop a YouTube video up next to me. And it's just like, it's actually really therapeutic and just something that I've ended up doing pretty much every day. Okay, this is a little bit wonky, but I feel like once it's back, like no one will ever tell. Now we need to blow dry it out. I feel like old Justin Bieber with his fringe. Back in with my styling brush from Tangle Teaser. I'm just gonna brush out my new freshly cut fringe. Why am I so crazy? This brush honestly is so perfect for just blending all your hair together. One of my friends that has hair extensions, she says she actually can't live without it because it just gives such an easy blend. Oh wow, the fringe, the fringe is actually doing something guys. Wow, the fringe actually worked out so nicely. Imagine as well if I put my hair up, I'm not gonna put my hair up today, but let me just quickly show you. If I put my hair up, by the way, this brush is so good for updos, but imagine if I put my hair in a ponytail and now I've just cut this fringe in. Oh my God, I actually feel like this looks so nice. Do you guys think this looks nice? Maybe I should wear my hair up today. Do you know what the joke is with me and fringes is I spend my life cutting in a fringe, loving it, then hating it, spending the next couple of months growing it out and then cutting in a fringe and doing it all over again. Like it's like a game. Anyway, now to pick an outfit. So the vibe is dressy casual. So we're gonna do heels, but I feel like I'm gonna do jeans. So I have these jeans from Naked Fashion. Honestly, I've worn them out about a hundred times. They're like the perfect cut for a dressy casual vibe. And then I'm thinking this Zara corset. If you watched my last Zara haul, you'd have seen this in there. 
Then for shoes, I'm thinking my Jovita Rosa heels. These are like my go-to shoes. They are just fail safe. They are also the most comfortable heels I own. Just some finishing touches to the neck before perfume. By the way, guys, just a heads up, never wear a corset to dinner. I'm actually going out for drinks, so I'm gonna be stood up most of the day. But this is the situation that happens when you sit down. You cannot breathe and your boobs go up to your chin. Anyway, a little bit of By Terry CC Serum just on the end of this brush on my chest area. Let's do a little bit of highlight onto the collarbones and onto the shoulders. How do you guys feel about me wearing this? I kind of feel like it's better without. My usual watch, rings and jewels. For perfume, I think I'm gonna use this. It's Creed Windflowers. Also, always a little bit of hair perfume. For my bag, I feel like let's just keep it classic with my Chanel classic flat. So this is my finished look. I'm just gonna pan you guys down just to show you the full outfit. Okay, I feel like this angle is really terrible, but it's the only way I can show you my full outfit of the day slash evening. But this is my finished hair, makeup, and outfit look. You guys will have to let me know if you rate it or you hate it. I feel really good in it, I have to say. And you know what, it's only taken me from wet hair to dry hair and the full outfit and everything else has only taken me an hour and 10 minutes to get ready, which to be honest guys, I'm pretty impressed with myself. So this is me already guys. I hope so much you've enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Also just a quick one, everything featured of course will be linked down below so you can go and shop it all from there. Sending you all so much love and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Take care, bye bye.